How's everybody doing? My name is Anthony Brian Logan and today we got to talk about this very interesting clip that I've stumbled upon that comes from ABC Australia. I'm not quite sure if it's the same as our ABC over here in the States, if it's affiliated or whatever it is, but that's really irrelevant. The whole point is that this lady by the name of Deanne Carson, a so-called sexuality expert, was on this show talking about how you should get consent from your baby before you change their nappy or their diaper now this is really crazy really weird but before i get into it and give you my two cents in a more detailed way what i'm gonna do right now is go ahead and roll the clip in this clip you'll see her say exactly what i said straight from her so you know i'm not making it up i didn't just you know come out of the clear blue sky this is not a parody she is 100% serious. After we get done watching that, I'll talk about that and then give you my final thoughts and wrap it on up with a nice bow on top. So without further ado, let's go ahead and roll it. We work from children from three years old. We work with parents from birth. From birth? Yeah, yeah. Just about how to set up a culture of consent in their home. So I'm gonna change your nappy now, is that okay? Of course the baby's not gonna respond. Yes, mum, that's awesome. I'd love to have my nappy changed. But if you leave a space and wait for body language and wait to make eye contact, then you're letting that child know that their response matters. Okay, so you see what's going on. You heard what's going on. Now, this is really crazy. I thought that we've reached peak levels of absurdity, of SJW-ness. I mean, I don't even want to talk about her pink toupee or whatever kind of hairstyle that was. I don't even want to talk about that. I want to be a nice guy today. All I want to do is just really address what was said here. Now, here's the thing I got to say. Um, how do you get consent from a baby? Now, she explained, she was like, of course, the baby just can't talk and say, yes, uh, please change my diaper. Yeah, obviously, you can't do that. That's not going to happen. But I mean, eye contact, like you don't know what the, the baby doesn't understand what's going on. It's a baby. They don't know what's going on. That's why parents have to always be right there with the baby they got to be pretty much attached to the hip because the baby does not really understand what's happening they're trying to learn what's going on but it's not your responsibility as a parent to try and get visual cues from a baby who has no idea what's going on to change their diaper the diaper is soil it needs to be changed it's pretty cut and dry and also i'm offended at her saying mom and not dad because i'm sure dads out there change diapers as well so i'm triggered at that i'm offended but to get beyond that um what if the baby does not want to have the diaper changed what if you try to like say okay is it okay can i change your diaper and then right when you say that the baby just starts crying uncontrollably and you can't do anything to actually stop the crying okay and then you try to like carry the baby you try to pat on the back or whatever and then the baby is continuing to cry each time you put it down when you're trying to change the diaper you know it might be quiet when you give it the little consolation and pat it on the back but then when you put it down on the table trying to change his diaper and you start crying again so are you just going to not change the diaper leave the diaper on soil obviously you can't do that because now you're getting into some kind of medical issues you know you're going to cause the baby to become sick you can't do that so at a certain point you have to take control of what's going on here. And why is it seen in a sexual way? It's not, it's just changing the diaper. I mean, it's just like bathing a baby or something like that. It's the same thing. It's just keeping the baby clean. It, and at a certain point, the baby will be able to grow, <laughs> become a toddler, then become a little kid. And by the time they get to be toddler age, they're able to get in the bath, play around with the little dinosaurs or whatever, and wash themselves up. And then when they get to grow up, then they can get in the shower. And that's how that works. You can't just be like, oh, well, do I have permission? This is really crazy. But like I've said, this is peak SJW. And the thing about it is a woman like Deanne Carson, I would not be surprised if she was teaching in a university. I would not be surprised at all. This would be something that is expected. And then if she was at a university teaching, imagine what the kids who were in the school are learning from her. These potential parents who are trying to get consent from their babies to change their diapers. I mean, this is really crazy. But as I close, I just want to say 
that, uh, like I said earlier, I thought that I've seen it all. I've seen a little bit of everything. I've seen a lot of the protests on Berkeley's campus. I've seen some of the wildest things all over the world from the SJW, from the super liberal, hyper liberal left. You know, this is peak leftism at its worst. I don't want to say at its finest because that may suggest that there's something good to be gained from this, but there is no such thing. Now, I will say something nice here. The lady seemed nice enough in how she was talking. She did seem like she was some kind of uh, animal or a beast in just the way that she was presenting herself. I will say that. However, the presentation of absurdity is irrelevant. It still does not change the level of absurdity that's there. So that is all I got to say for it's a pretty open and shut case. D.A. Carson, I don't know how you are claiming to be an expert in sexuality, but I will most certainly challenge your claim of expertise. So what do you think? Are you a mother? Are you a father? Have you changed diapers? Did you ever think, hey, let me ask my infant who can barely Google and Gaga if I can change their diaper and then wait for a visual cue? And what kind of visual cue are you going to get? Is baby going to smile at you? Is baby just going to you know, give you the head nod, straight face? What are you really looking for? Am I trying to uh, make a crazy thing logical? Is that a waste of time for me to do? Or do you think that the lady who was talking in the clip is right? You must ask for permission before you change your baby's diaper. And if you think that is the case, then my question to you would be, what if the baby does not give you the visual cues you're looking for in order to change the diaper? Are you not going to change it? Allow the baby to get sick, develop diaper rash or whatever the case may be. Whatever your thoughts are, please let me know in the comments below. And that's all I got to say for this video. If you like what you heard, please comment, rate, share and subscribe. Peace.